gently rise and softly call Good night and God be with you all So fill to me the parting glass Everybody and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to make a freezer meals and also I'm going to share with you how you can eliminate these spice packs and you can make your own. This is going to be a video with full of information and I hope that you take some of my advice. Whenever you make a meal, make two. That way you can put one in the freezer. You know the summer days are long and they're very hot and a lot of times people have a lot of extra work in the summertime. What better way to open your freezer and find a meal and you don't even have to prepare for it? It's a dark and dreary day, a little bit on the cool side. What better time to make extra meals? Today we're going to make spaghetti and I'm going to share with you how the Dollar Tree can really help you. So the Dollar Tree actually has meal portion plastic and TV dinner foil trays. So we're going to make TV dinners in the foil and TV dinners in the plastic. Now the plastic is for those of you who use the microwave. I'm going to share with you a demonstration of both. But the TV dinners are amazing. You can put them in your oven just like a TV dinner you would buy in the store. How many times have you seen the TV dinners in the grocery store? They want four and five dollars for some of them. Three dollars, even two dollars is a lot of money for a little bit of food but you can easily make your own TV dinners and this is the start of a series because I'm going to be making a lot of TV dinners because I think it's so great to just open up that freezer and find some fresh food that you don't have to cook but first we're going to make something really unique I really got into making my own spices and these spaghetti packs run anywhere from a dollar to a dollar fifty a pack why not make our own and make it in bulk Today's idea comes from the friendly food gift from your kitchen. I got this many years ago. Now a lot of the ideas are for Christmas, but they have hundreds and hundreds of ideas for things for any time of the year. Big section on making mixes. So we are going to make some today. I'm going to make the bulk spaghetti sauce mix. Now I'm going to tell you the recipe because the recipe only makes one envelope. So I'm going to share that recipe with you. For me, I am going to double it, triple it. I'm going to make it a lot more because I'm making enough for the whole year. But I'm just going to share with you the recipe because I always add my versions to everything. And so it calls for, you want to write this down. It calls for one tablespoon of minced onion, dried. One tablespoon of parsley flakes, dried. One tablespoon of cornstarch two teaspoons of green pepper flakes dried, a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of minced garlic, and one teaspoon of sugar, and three-fourths teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Now I'm going to show, go ahead and we are going to screen the recipe. So I'm not going to measure mine in tablespoons. I'm going to measure mine in cups because I'm making a whole bunch of it. So enjoy watching me as I make it in bulk. Really it's to your own taste and so if you don't like a certain spice you don't need to add it and these kind of recipes are amazing to make because you can adapt them to whatever you want. Now I am using this food processor because I want to blend it really fine. Alright, so this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Now I would rather add a little less salt than a too much salt. So we are going to add just a little bit of salt. And this is the kosher salt. This is sea salt. That's plenty. As you all know in my cooking, I don't add a lot of seasonings. 
I had them on the table. That's something that I was just raised with. That's how we did things. We had the seasonings on the table, then everyone could choose what they liked. In Pennsylvania Dutch cooking, there really wasn't a whole lot of seasonings. We used saffron, of course we used salt, and of course we used pepper. We didn't use a whole lot of other things. Onions were very important. Even garlic, we didn't eat much garlic. We had a very bland diet, but it was a diet that was full of carbohydrates, unfortunately. All right, this is our homemade mix. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to open up the store-bought mix. Alright, so what is the difference? As you see, the store-bought mix has a little bit more of a pink color than my mix. But then, look at all the ingredients in the store-bought mix. All those ingredients. It has cheese cultures. Well, this doesn't have any cheese cultures in it. Buttermilk solids. Beet powder blue cheese mix, maltodextrin, all of these things that this doesn't have. So our spaghetti meal is like a spaghetti meal. Everybody knows how to make spaghetti. But because I'm going to make them in TV dinners, we're going to use the wheel pasta, not the spaghetti. Two reasons. One is I didn't have the spaghetti noodles until I think the wheels will fit better in our TV dinner trays. So we're going to use the pasta wheels. I have my very own spaghetti sauce that I canned, which I have a video on that. We have some of my tomato paste. This is recanned. That's why recanning is so neat because I got a number 10 can for $3.99 and that gave me over 16 pints of tomato paste. My own. So recanning is amazing. You know, sometimes people like to knock it. Don't knock it unless you tried it because recanning is absolutely amazing. It helps people who don't have a garden. It also saves you tons and tons of money. Did I say tons and tons of money? Yeah, tons and tons of money. Recan it. Here it is. We just made it. So I'm going to add some of this to it. What I'm going to do is add a little bit, and then I'm going to taste it, and then add some more. I'm really excited about this because I think having TDP dinners is going to really help free up some time for me. Plus, then we have a really good home-cooked meal. All right, so we're going to add the vegetable portion to our TV dinners first. Now, these vegetables, you may say, don't really go with spaghetti. But because we're making TV dinners... I want to have a vegetable in with the tray. I usually have a vegetable with every meal. So we're going to have the spaghetti in the big one, and then we're going to have peas in the one. Now I'm not filling them up the whole way. And I'm estimating how many TV dinners this is going to give me. So we have the peas and we have the lima beans. Now we're going to just take some of my homemade butter that we made, you know, the other week. And we're going to add just a little bit of butter on top of each. And there you go. Now it's starting to really look like TV dinners, isn't it? Now when the spaghetti is finished, we're going to add that. Hey, so here we are. Now, my table is so full, I'm going to try to get everything on here for you so you can see. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our noodles in each compartment here. So, the noodles are pretty much soft. They might be just a little bit al dente because if we're going to be heating these in the oven, I don't want to make them that they're mushy. So, we're going to go ahead. 
and we're going to put two scoops in each compartment. First for me, making TV dinners like this. Now I was really into the once a month cooking back in the 90s. The once a month cooking. This reminds me a little bit like Marie Callender's spaghetti sauce and Pete. This reminds me a little bit of Marie Callender's TV dinners or frozen dinners. Now this would be great to put our bread in. So these Dollar Tree ones are actually pretty neat to put a piece of te Texas toast with it and then freeze it. But I'm just going to use these as our leftovers today for our meal today. Well there you go everybody. TV dinners. Imagine that. If you like recipes like these TV dinners, let me know because we have many more to come. Hey, if we're going to go into all the trouble and do some cooking, why don't we make a lot of it so we can freeze it? Take care, everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. But one important item. I bet you're wondering, well, how long does it last in the freezer? Preferably three months, but it can last up to six months. So any TV dinner that you make, especially if it's cooked like this, probably about three months to six months. If you really want to have it for longer storage, you could always put this in another Ziploc bag. That gives you double protection. But I think we're going to have it all consumed within three to four months. Make sure you label your containers and you could date it too. That way you know when you made it. Bye everybody! Let's see. Meatloaf, chicken, mac and cheese, lasagna, stromboli. That's a good one. Hmm, what else could we make that we could freeze? I'll have to write all my ideas down.